Hey everyone, it's Sheena from Crafty Mama Studios back with another 3D shadow box tutorial. Today I decided to channel some under the sea vibes with this sea turtle. Life can get so hectic sometimes and I just felt this one seemed calm and serene. I added fairy lights to this one to give it a special touch. By adding them to the bottom layer, it gives the feeling of the sun shining down through the waves. I picked mine up at the dollar store. They were the perfect size to fit right between the layers when I used my foam tape. I've got the layers numbered at the bottom right hand corner. They're to help keep the layers in order and so you know which side of the design is up. By keeping those numbers at the bottom right, you're sure to finish your project knowing the layers are all correct. Because of the details in the layers, you'll definitely benefit from slowing your blade way down or using an intricate cut setting. I've decided to go with both foam tape and glue for this one. There are some layers that benefit from being attached to the layer below it to help show detail and give it some stability. This layer with the turtle details is a great example. I went ahead and pre-glued his two eyepieces onto this layer. I used my zig glue pen to attach them so I wouldn't have to worry about extra glue seeping out the edges. You could save a layer or two of paper by not using the varying colors of the corals, but I thought it gave it a nice detail.
And there you have it, another cute shadow box to add to your collection or give away as a gift. Are there any shadow boxes you'd like to see? Leave me a comment and I'll see about adding it to my growing collection. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and make sure to click the bell to be notified when I create new projects.